What's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, I'm going to show you a really cool plugin for Final Cut from Motion VFX called the MTuber 2 plugin. It's really cool if you make YouTube videos because this plugin has a bunch of YouTube elements, 61 to be exact, like the subscribe button, the social media icons, ending scenes or end screens, titles, logo animations, pointers, as well as icons and backgrounds. Link is going to be in the description for you guys to download and make sure that you're on 10.4.6. Now let's get started with the tutorial. All right, so we're going to start off with the backgrounds and I'm going to choose the abstract one just for now. And this is going to be kind of like a sped up tutorial just so I can show you um, what you can do, of course, uh, and the sky's the limit. So you can turn the animation on or off for the intros. You can change the content position, the rotation, the scale. You can also change the Bezier's opacity, the Bezier's colors, uh, depending on which element you have. You can change the element scale, the position, the rotation, the opacity as well as well as the background there in the background gradient as well as the background scale and the gradient location all right moving on to the second one is going to be the ending scenes which is one of my favorite ones and i chose this one from that category and it's really cool because you have um, an option to um, put in video in the drop zones and adjust it to your settings however you want to customize this you have the text you have a main text a subtitle text you can change um, a whole bunch of, of stuff here and you can change the scale from those videos. You can put in your own um, text and scale as well as the position for those videos. And this is what it would look like. And it looks absolutely fantastic. All right, so moving on to the third one, that's gonna be the icon. So all you have to do is click and drag it into the timeline. And then if you open up the parameters, the publish parameters, you can change all of the settings to customize it to your own liking, like the outline color, the fill color, the fill opacity, and you can really customize this to make it look uh, unique to you and yeah it looks really cool in my opinion Alrighty, moving on to the fourth one and that's going to be the logo animations one of my favorite ones in the plugin all you have to do like the other ones is click and drag it into the timeline open up the parameters and adjust the settings and customize it to however you want it to look like you can import your own logo adjust the position the rotation the scale and you can also change the replicators which are the little lines you can turn that on or off adjust the color of the logo changing the position and this is what the logo would look like when you've customized it pretty neat huh Already moving on to the fifth one, and that's going to be one of the pointers from many that you can choose. Click and drag it into the timeline, open up the parameters, and adjust the settings to however you want it to look like, rotation, scale, and color. And then once you have it all finished, this is what your video would look like. It's pretty neat. I like this one. Moving on to the sixth one, and that's going to be the social media icons. This is, of course, one of many icons that you can choose. You can have it either as a lower third or as a title. You can adjust the icons to whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and so on. Or you can import your own logo, adjust the text, change the font, the size, the tracking, the color of it. And then you can also put in um, the subtitle text with this. You can also change the um, theme of the colors within that icon. And then this is what your video would look like once you have it all finished. And this is all animated for you, so you don't have to use any keyframes for any of this, which is the best part about this plugin. All right, moving on to the next one, and this is going to be the subscribe buttons. It's very simple. You would have to click and drag your video in the timeline, as well as one of the elements. I chose the player one. And within this one, you can change the color theme if it's dark or normal. And then you would change all of the settings to customize it to however you want it to look like. And this is what it would look like. It's really cool to animate it. It's all done for you. Man, it looks beautiful. This is one of my favorite ones. And last but not least, we have the titles, which is a really nice one as well. You would, of course, drag it into the timeline on top of your video and then open up the parameters and adjust a bunch of settings. You can choose the font, the text, the color of the text. And within this specific element, I can change the frame. I can have that on or off and adjust the search icon of this element. And once you've made all of your changes, and then this is what your video would look like. And it looks so, so good. So be sure to check out this plugin. Link is going to be in the description. A big special thanks to MotionVFX for sponsoring today's video. I will catch you guys on my next video.